What is up ladies and gents and welcome to another Go Battle League video. Now for today's video I'm not going to be playing the major leagues in GBL like I said in the previous video. Instead I'm going to be playing another brand new special cup in the Go Battle League. That's right, I'm talking about the Love Cup. Now you guys were able to compete in this Valentine's Day themed cup from February 8th to the 15th. And the Pokemon that you choose to enter into this cup has to be under 1500 CP and the Pokemon itself has to be colored red or pink. And so here is a list of the Pokemon that you were able to enter into the Love Cup. Now Pokemon with different shades of red or pink and uh, orange Pokemon, for example, like Charizard, are allowed into this Love Cup as well for some reason. And finally, Legendary and Mythical Pokemon are also not allowed to enter the Love Cup. Alright, now let's bring up um, my game screen, as you can see on the left, and show you guys the team that I used in the Love Cup. Okay, so I ran this team, which had Crustle with Smackdown, X Scissor, and Rock Blast, Ariados with Infestation, Cross Poison, and Megahorn, and finally Blissey with Pound and Psychic. Now, I know you guys might be wondering why, out of all Pokemon that you could have used in the Love Cup, why would you run Blissey? Now guys, I know that Blissey is pretty much only used as a gym defender because of its tankiness, but the meta relevant Pokemon that are used in the Love Cup are perfect for Blissey to wall their strong attacks in this cup. And so I hope that in this video, I'll be able to show you guys the true potential of Blissey in Go Battle League. And also, I'm only running one charge move on Blissey because uh, one, Pound and Zen Headbutt are pretty much the only uh, fast moves that Blissey has, which neither of them has uh, insane energy gain. And two, the only other charge moves that Blissey has is Hyper Beam and Dazzling Gleam, both of which take even longer than Psychic to charge up. And I'm hoping that I can use uh, Psychic in this meta to take out some uh, Fighters and uh, Poison-type Pokemon. I hope you guys will enjoy this video, and let's go ahead and get right into the battles. Alright, in the first round, I'm up against Mark Architect. Okay, so we have Crustle on the lead versus Wigglytuff. Now, Crustle is going to take a lot of damage from Charm. And so I'm going to pull an immediate switch into Blissey and start pounding down my opponent. Oh, but then the opponent is has swapped into a Lomomola. And, and a Lomomola's waterfall is really going to start chunking down on uh, Blissey's health. Okay, so I am now going to use my Psychic Attack and hopefully get a shield. Well, okay, but, okay, but no shield uh, coming in on the Lomomola. So we're gonna just, and so we're just gonna have to continue farming down. Okay, uh, this is probably a Surf, so I'm not gonna shield. Okay, but that was a Hydro Pump, which, do which does quite a bit of damage to my Blissey. Okay, can we get to the Psychic in time? Yes, we can get to the Psychic before uh, Blissey uh, dies. Hello, darkness, my old friend. And, uh, will we get a shield? Yes, we get a shield from the Olomomola, which is very good. And, uh, the Blissey is taken out. Now, Crustle is going to come back out and start to farm down with Smackdowns. Okay, now we're obviously going to shield because, water, because Rock is weak to water. And it's another Hydro Pump. Wow, it is amazing how fast... Uh, waterfalls uh, charge up that hydro pump. Okay, um, we take down the Alomola with just a slight bit of health left, and Wiggly Tough come back, comes back in, and we're gonna uh, use X Scissor and hope we get a shield. No, we don't, and so we're gonna immediately switch into the Ariados and farm down with uh, Infestation and get to our Cross Poison. Now the Cross Poison is going to deal super effective damage to it, 
and we still don't get a shield from it. Now, what's amazing about infestation is how freaking fast it charges up energy. Okay, uh, Wiggly Tuff's using his charge group, and so I'm gonna shield. It is an ice beam. Okay, let's get to another cross poison and take out the Wiggly Tuff. Now, he might decide to shield this one. No shield coming in, he's always gonna, go let, gonna let that go. Bruh. And it is another Charmer, a Clefable. And so we have Cross Poison ready for him. And unfortunately, uh, this won't be enough to take out the Clefable. And it also gets a shield, which is very unfortunate. And okay, we can get to another Cross Poison uh, before the Arigos, um faints. And this will deal a lot of damage to it, and the Arigos goes down. Oh, but Crossel is, is still alive, and oh, we can get to the x Scissor just in time, and uh, will this be enough damage to take out the Clefable? No! And so, come on! Oh, that was, that was a very close game. Uh, good game to my opponents. Oh, uh, that was so close. If if only I was able to sneak in that one smackdown before it was able to charm me down. Okay guys, round two, and we're up against Nako331. Okay, and it's Crossel versus Porygon Z, a shiny one too. Wow. Now cross now obviously I'm gonna let Crossel stay in because Porygon Z is just um, kind of pretty classy and its smackdowns are doing quite a bit of damage. Okay, so let's um, use an x at it, see if we can get a shield, which is probably a bad idea. No, he actually shields, which is very good for us. Okay, uh, now this is probably going to be a tri-attack from the Porygon Z, which I'm not going to shield. It was a tri-attack, which does quite a bit of resistant damage, and unfortunately gets the defense and attack debuff. Okay, uh, the opponent swaps into a Milotic, and I'm gonna swap out into my Blissey and start to farm down with Pound. Now, the Milotic is attacking, which might be a Surf, and I'm not gonna shield that. Just look at how tanky the Blissey is. Like, it's insane. Now, uh, we can get to our Psychic and hopefully get a shield from the Milotic. No shield coming in. Uh, and the Psychic does quite a bit of uh, neutral damage, and oh wow, and the opponent uh, swaps out into a Sunny Shurim at the last moment. And uh, the Shurim is probably going to go for a Fire Weather Ball, which I'm not going to shield. Okay, and can we get to a Psychic? Okay, uh, Psychic coming in on the uh, Blissey. Now, if this lands, this is going to do quite a bit of neutral damage. No! Uh, we got a shield, and gets the defense debuff, which is awesome. Oh! I tried to get, I tried to uh, go for an x but loses the CMP tie. And so I'm going to shield this Fire Weather Ball, and get to, and try to click on the x -Scissor. Okay, x are coming in, that does a lot of super effective damage, and I am able to smack down the uh, Shurim. Okay, my little comes back in, and Crustle is taken out. Now, I'm gonna swap into my Ariados in this situation, and Surf coming in, I'm gonna sh decide to shield that. And at this point, I'm just looking to f uh, now, I probably should have farmed down with Infestation, but unfortunately I went for Cross Poison. And this and this takes out the Milotic, and that is going to be a great battle. Uh, good game to my opponent. Alright, let's go ahead and get right into the next battle. Alright, coming into the next battle, we're up against Truck My A. Okay, we have Crossel on lead versus a Charizard. A very, very good matchup because because the Charizard is double weak to Rock, and unfortunately the opponent switches out to a Wigglytuff. And because of that, I, I decide to swap out into my Blissey and start to farm down on the Wigglytuff. 
Okay, let's get to a Psychic, and can we get a Shield? Can we get a Shield with Psychic? Okay, we get a Shield. Shield goes up from the opponent, and that charm is absolutely chunking down the health of Blissey. And this is probably an... No, it is a Dazzling Gleam, not an Ice Speed, which does a lot of neutral damage. And unfortunately, the Blissey's gonna have to go down. Okay, because of this, I'm gonna switch to my, um... My second Pokemon, uh... To go up against these Charmers, Ariados, and I'm going for a Cross Poison, which takes out the Wigglytuff, and Charizard comes back in, and because of this, I'm going to swap out to my Char- to my Crustle, and the opponent switches into a Soul Rock. Now, this isn't really a problem, because of the Psychic type, I can literally just go for X Scissor and deal super effective damage to it. And we also get a Shield from the opponent. Oh, but unfortunately I lose to CMP Tie while trying to go for another x -Scissor. I'm going to shield this attack, which is a Rock Slide. Now, even though this would have been resisted damage, it still would have been enough damage to get the Crustle really low. Okay, x -Scissor coming in. Boom! We take out the Soul Rock, and it's just the Charizard left. And just no way can the opponent win now. Alright, coming into round 4, we're up against Olaf Volvist. Wow, pretty interesting name. Okay, cross on the lead against Scizor. Wow, like, um... Scizor is a pretty interesting Pokemon to have in, uh, Love Cup, because... Okay, but, uh... The, um, Bullet Punch is really chomping down on the, uh, cross and because of that, I'm gonna swap into my Blissey. And Iron Head coming in on the Scizor, which I'm not going to shield, obviously. And, uh, I'm, and at this point, I'm just trying to go for a Psychic, but wow, the opponent gets to another Iron Head. Okay, wow, I was wrong. That was a Night Slash instead. Uh, but, which is fine for us. Oh, and the opponent switches into a Darmanitan. Okay, uh... Oh, and we also get a shield with uh, my own Psychic, and at this point, uh, the Darmanitan's Incinerate's just gonna take me out, which is totally fine, it's totally fine, and because of the Fire-type, I'm gonna switch into my Crustle and start smacking it down. Okay, attack coming in, um, I don't know what it is, so I didn't shield- Oh, wow, and it was a Psychic! Which brings my uh, health down really low, but I was able to uh, KO this uh, Dar Darmanitan just in time. Okay, the Scizor comes back in, and X Scissor, and gets a shield. Now my last line of defense, my Oridos, uh comes back in, and at this point I'm just going to have to cross poison it. Okay, um, that deals... Um, uh, resisted damage, which is pretty unfortunate, and I'm, and I'm gonna have to shield this Night Slash. Oh no! And the Scizor gets an attack uh, buff, and another Night Slash coming in. I'm gonna have to shield this one. It's gonna do a lot of damage, and I'm able to get to a Cross Poison to hopefully uh, be able to take it out. Okay, cross poison coming in, that takes out the Scizor, and it's a Slow King! It's a Slow King! Wow! It's a Slow King! I'm able to get to my second charge move, Mega Horn, which is gonna be able to one shot, let alone, K let alone uh, KO the Slow King because of the Psychic type. Boom! It takes out the Slow King, and that is gonna be a great battle. Very close call. Man, if. Man, if that was a different Pokemon that uh, the Aridos is going to suffer, that would have been a totally uh, different ending. Okay, coming into the final battle, we're up against Hina B0406. Okay, we have Crusoe versus Clefable. And because of this, I'm obviously going to swap into my Blissey. And 
And let's uh, keep using pound on it. Oh, quite a bit of a bit of lag here, but uh, we're still okay. Okay, let's get to a psychic and and try to get some shields in. Psychic coming in and gets the shield, which is cool. And here comes a Scrafty. Now the counters are unfortunately doing super effective damage to me, but that's fine because Blissey, the big boy, is just so tanky it doesn't matter. Can I get to a Psychic? No! The Scrafty was able to counter me down uh, before I can get to my Psychic, which is very unfortunate. Now, what can I do in this situation? Of course, use my Ariados. Now, um... Attack coming in, it is unfortunately a foul play, which does quite a bit of neutral damage, and... Um, Scrafty gets to another uh, charge move, and I'm probably gonna, obviously gonna shield this one, and it is another foul play. Good call. That was a good call by me, because if it, if it was a power punch, that would have been unfortunate. Okay, another attack coming in uh, from the Scrafty. No shield, and unfortunately it was a foul play, which really um, took down a lot of health on the Scrustle, and uh, as you can see, I'm getting to my X Scissor, and oh, just barely able to take out the Scrafty, but not a problem, and the Clefable comes back out, and uh, it's going to use its Meteor Mash, which I'm not going to shield. Right, now looking at the health on uh, Eridos, it looks as if I might be screwed at this point, and unfortunately the opponent switches out to a Charizard. Now, now like I'm pretty much screwed at this point because the Charizard can literally just fire spin me down. Yeah, so um, I'm pretty so I, I think in this battle I uh, screwed up a lot. Yeah, all right, so good game to my opponents and. Uh, Let's go ahead and uh, collect the rewards. Alright, and that is just about it for um, the Go Battle League Love Cup. Now, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'm sorry if I was really terrible at talking and commentating. Yeah, I know, I just need a lot more practice on this. Yeah, but anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And, uh... Have a great day guys and I'll see you on the next video.